guys, I am Nayeli. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today is July 5th. It's actually 11.37 p.m., which means my birthday is in 23 minutes. So, I'm going to be 20 years old, and wow, I'm no longer going to be a teenager, any teenager anymore. So, I decided to kind of talk about, or not talk about, I decided to kind of film a video reflecting on my last 20 years of life. Let's see, what, what would I want to know in the future about tonight? How do I feel? Um, I feel nervous. I feel a weird combination of scared yet calm, if that makes sense. I mean, there's really, there's really nothing I could do about it, so it's like, what can you do? You know, like nothing. Okay, I scoot the camera closer so the microphone picks up my voice more because the air comes just turned on. Perfect timing. How do I feel? I feel scared, but I also feel faithful, if that makes sense. Like, I trust in God. Like, I feel calm at the same time. Like, it's scary. You know, it's definitely thinking about not being a teenager anymore. Like, I thought, you know, the teenager, you know, the teenage years, like, oh, that's the years. You know, that's, that's it. But that's not it. You know, it's just another big step, which is insane. What did I do today? Let's see. Um, that's something I probably would want to know. Today, I woke up at 6 to do the daily rosary call. Um, we did mass. We went to a couple stores to get some stuff for tomorrow. And um, overall, it was okay. I did feel anxious a little bit. Not a little bit. Quite a bit throughout the day. But overall, very good. And I wore this hooray shirt today. You know, hooray. I've learned a lot, definitely, specific, especially in my teenage years. Um, that was when, that was tech, like, literally when the roller coaster began. Like, trust me, it was still a ride before the teenage years, but man, the teenage years have been tower of terror compared to the roller coaster. But it's also been the best. You know, I learned how precious life really is and how no moment should be taken for granted. I've learned so many things. I feel the biggest thing though is I've gotten so close to God which I never thought would be possible. And what's crazy is I know it's probably possible to still even grow more in love with him, you know? And that's insane because I feel so close to Jesus and like so connected to like the Holy Family. I know there's so much more to learn, which is crazy. I already feel so close to them and there's a lot more to go. You know, like the adventure is going to continue. And now that I have, you know, Jesus, Mama Mary with me, I know that whatever comes in this next chapter, new adventure, it will be great because they're with me. Like I said, I've grown so much in my faith, like, amazingly. Like, I never thought I'd be where I am now. I'm just, I didn't even expect, like, no, the place I'm at is possible, you know, which is insane. And I'll save the testimony and all that for another time. But yeah, it's literally insane. 14 minutes left. Okay, so this morning I thought I'd share. I was looking through a lot of old um, SD cards and videos and photos of my fam and I when we were uh, when I was younger. I probably burst out laughing and crying several times <laughs> from all the old videos, but mainly because I found a video um, of my grandpa. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Okay, so I found a video that I had not seen before. At least I don't remember watching it. So a few years ago, one of my uncles got married in Lake Tahoe and it was like around winter time I believe. I found a video of m me sledding down you know a snow hill and my grandpa was there and he was like there cheering me on as I was going down the sled you know. So he was just like cheering me on as I slid down and I had never heard a video like since he passed, you know, we've seen a lot of videos and old photos and a lot of stuff, but I had never seen this video. I saw the video for the first time today. I forgot the sound of his voice for a second and like, 
oh, you know what, it's okay, emotions are allowed, emotions are allowed, everyone's okay to allow to feel emotions, so whatever. I never had found a video of him like speaking to me, um, usually the videos we've heard or found have been like, you know, just him talking, obviously it was just still really nice and amazing. So hearing him talk to me in that video was, well, you know, I haven't heard him talk to me, I don't like, how long, eight years? So just hearing that video, that was truly a blessing from God. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> All right, <let's> go. <laughs> Good run, Miha. I miss him, obviously, and just hearing that reminded me, reminded my heart, you know, that he's always with me and that he's watching over, you know, my family. So. Uh, did not expect the car, but anyways, um, you never know how long you're gonna be here, and I really learned, you know, you gotta just go for it. So I guess one of the biggest things I've learned, I guess I could say, and advice to tell whoever's watching. Okay, not the biggest advice because there's a lot more, a lot more deep stuff. But one of the biggest pieces of advice I can give, due to experience of these my life so far um is just go for it and that leads to one of my other quote favorite quotes which is yolo yolo doesn't mean to be not safe and careless and dumb you know it doesn't mean to be dumb or like not safe you know just if it's something good if it's something safe and it's something you know you've prayed about then just go for it. Don't be scared. Don't let fear hold you back. And, you know, I specifically in the last past two years, I took so many big risks. I was homeschooled from seventh grade to 11th grade, and I took a risk and went back to public school for my senior year. I faced my fears and I went back to public school for senior year. And then, in that one thing, there was a lot of other things. I faced my fears and joined my church youth group. I faced my fears and got closer in my faith, which was not even something to be scared of in the first place. I faced my fears to share my testimony this past February in front of over 300 people at a retreat at my church, which was... I can't believe I did that so and I'm still gonna share a video about that sometimes to face my fears to be a confirmation leader I faced my fears to join in a, a young adult group that my cousin invited me to to join a missionary team I faced my fears to talk to people I faced my fears to open up to God and I'm on facing all these fears from and plus more, though that's not anywhere near, like, how many f fears I faced. Just by facing all the fears that I've had leading up to now. Without facing my fears, I would not be the person I am today. And even though I'm an anxious person, I have even though I'm someone with anxiety, even though I'm someone that gets scared at times, even though I'm someone that cries, you know, quite often, whether it be for something dumb or something silly or something understandable to cry to, I wouldn't change any of that. I wouldn't change any of the fears that I faced because even though all that, I'm also deep in my faith. A daughter of Christ. I'm a daughter of the King. I know my worth now. I know what I'm capable to do so far like there's still so much I know I could probably do um but I've definitely faced so much I would not change anything I'm so much more at peace even though my flesh may not be at peace at times you know my mind my flesh my soul has never been more at peace and I've never been more I've never felt so loved by Jesus and I've never felt so connected and I've never felt so, I've never felt so like I could do anything. And so fearless. And my birthday is in less than one minute. This is my last minute as, whew. Okay, well, you're celebrating my birthday with me, guys. It's gonna be my birthday in less than a minute. With that being said, I just wanna say, go for it. 
don't take life for granted. Live each moment like it's your last, not like in a fearful way. Jesus has got you. Jesus is never tired of you. That's This is another big piece, another big thing I learned. Jesus is never tired of hearing you say sorry. If you feel like that, that's just the enemy trying to get to you. So you don't keep going back to Jesus. But Jesus is never tired of welcome, welcoming you back into his arms. And trust me, there have been so many times where I've been, where I felt like, you know, God is just tired of hearing me say sorry. It's just us that end up getting tired of going back to him. He loves you so much. You have so much worth. You are beautiful and you are loved. Keep going because there's been many times where I did not want to keep going. And if I listened to the enemy's thoughts, I would not be here right now. If it weren't for God, listen to God and go to him. He will not deny you. He will not shut the door on you. He's waiting for you to walk through that door to go to him. It's my birthday. Okay guys, I think that is it for today. It's past, a little past midnight already, and I have a few things left to do before I'm going to head to bed, and then I'm going to wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow to do my daily rosary call and have a great day because God has given us this new day, and why not celebrate? And that goes for any day doesn't have to be your birthday for you to celebrate life so guys thank you for celebrating the countdown to my birthday with me i am going to vlog tomorrow um we're gonna do some cool stuff even though we're quarantined even though my birthday is gonna be quite different than previous you know i'm not gonna be able to have my family or friends over um it's gonna be different but it'll be amazing and such a fun day still i'm 20 years old so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i pray you guys have a very blessed and beautiful and joyful and pumped day and blessed day don't forget to follow me on instagram i'll be sharing photos from my birthday here's my username at blessed and beautiful official and and yeah i'll see you guys next video and so the adventure continues this next chapter, this next adventure, is gonna be fire. It's gonna be boom. It's too good. It's gonna be this next chapter is gonna surpass all the awesome stuff so far. The twenties. Crap! I'm in the twenties. This is all hitting me. This is all just hitting me all over again. Um, I'm in my twenties. Sorry, guys. I'm just joking. Yeah, this is gonna be a wild ride. And Jesus is in control. It's gonna be an amount an amount. I was gonna say an amazing and awesome, but I said an amount. It's gonna be an amazing and awesome day. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you get reminded or notified when I post. Love you guys. You guys are so loved, and so the adventure continues.
the face. Good job. Give me a good job. Give me a good job. And a good job. And a good job. Oh, yeah. oh, no, Hi, I'm Tony and remember. Today's report is the weather graph. And. There's no hesitation in your love and affection.